guys, this is your girl Dom and we are here with another video. And in this video, we are doing a foodie. We are doing meal prep. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, I did not get a chance to go food shopping the way that I normally do because I just didn't have the time. Like my week was completely unexpectedly busy with a lot of different new adventurous things that's going on. So I am excited about that, but I did not get a chance to go food shopping the way I normally do. I normally go to two different grocery stores and I go to one grocery store for my fruits and veggies and another one for the rest of the things on my list. But because on my way going throughout my week, I just stopped to go get veggies and I didn't go get the other stuff. So I had to settle with the things that I have in my refrigerator right now, which is chicken, chicken and more chicken. So I am sorry about that, but I will get more creative and try something a little bit different for the next meal prep. I do have some things in mind. I am working on some things that I do want to try. So I am excited about that. But another thing that we are doing today, we are making soup. I am making lentil soup and this will be my first time trying it. So they had a lot of different ways that you can make the soup. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go so creative right away before me actually having some sort of knowledge of what the taste of the soup really is so that way when I am experimenting on something else I already know how the soup can taste and I can really add some of my own little my little mm -mm on top of it so I am excited to try this soup I am excited to see it's lots of veggies in them but guys I'm just gonna shut up talking and we're gonna just jump right up into this video hey guys this is your girl Dom and we are here with another video and in this video we are doing a meal prep video and on the menu this week, we are doing chicken and lentils soup. And I am super, super excited to try the lentil soup because this will be my first time trying it. I didn't get a chance to go food shopping the way I normally do because I go to two different grocery stores. So one to get my fruits and veggies, another one to get the rest of the stuff off my list. But I didn't get a chance to go get the meats and stuff like that. So I had to use what I had in my refrigerator. So only thing I really did have was just like all chicken. Like that was it. So this is just gonna be all an uh, old chicken meal prep week. So I'm okay with that. We still gonna make it work by the grace of God. So I already shown you guys before how I chop clean all my veggies and stuff like that. So I don't really feel like I had to do a full detailed video of that. But I will tell you look, some of the veggies and stuff that I did get. So I did get some celery. I got some parsley, some Italian parsley. I got um, some cilantro, kale for the first time. Me actually cooking raw kale like this. I got some sweet peppers and some green onions. So I did all of that the night before I actually um, do my meal prep. So the next day, I am now cleaning off all of my sweet potatoes and then after I do that, I'm gonna dry them and you already know I'm gonna put the fork through them, use my olive oil to oil these things right up and then I'm gonna put my Himalayan pink salt in there. While I have my, my oven, I'm about to say onion, my oven on preheat at 400. <laughs> placing the sweet potatoes into the oven I like to move forward with going with my lentils and my brown rice so I like to use some chicken broth and I like to go in with some water as well and this time I use bottled water instead of like tap water because I felt like it should be a little fresher this time so I just wanted to try and see how it would taste and it came out amazing to do that and then as well, I'm going to start with my lentil noodles and I did rinse them off as well. Even though the packet said I didn't have to rinse it off, but I did. So that was me seasoning my chicken. So remember that mixture that I make in my food processor? So I had some left over and then I put them in my freezer. Actually, this was the pack my mom made for me, but I normally put them in the freezer. You can do that, it lasts longer. And just in case you don't have time for the food processor to do it all the time, you have some in the freezer and it cuts you a bunch of time. So what I'm always doing first, it seems to always put my chicken thighs in first and I let that just cook on both sides and I took my sweet potatoes out of the oven and then I just wanted to cut them and open them up so they don't like sweat. I don't know if that makes sense, but they'll swell and they won't really, you know, they would get really mushy if you leave them inside the foil. And after that, I went in with my chicken breast and I cut that up I made them grilled and now I'm going in with my chicken bites and I had them on grilled as well <music> then 
then I am going in with my ground chicken. And you already know the same thing I used to do with my ground turkey. I do the same thing. But this time I included some cilantro and I included some Italian parsley, and which was game changer. Then I am going to go in with my sweet peppers. And these look so good. Oh my goodness. But I did not saute them like I normally do. I let them saute for probably no more than like six to eight minutes. And that was that. So I didn't lose the flavor and the sweetness of the sweet peppers. So now I'm going to put in all of my chicken and my brown rice, my lentils. I put all of that into the bowls so I can move forward now with the lentil soup. And oh, before I forget to mention, after putting my meal preps together, I did add some Thai sauce. I think it was Thai chili sauce onto my chicken. <laughs> Okay, so now we are gonna go in with our lentil soup. So I was really excited to try this, but I didn't know which one to go for. So I said, I'll just go with the original one, then I'll just add my own little touches to it. So at first I went in with some olive oil and I let that pot get nice and hot for me. And then I included some onions and I cut that a half of an onion. And then I also did, I think it was like four or five stalks of celery sticks. And then I did probably like six carrots, I believe it was. And then I just give that all a good whisk and I just let that simmer for a few minutes. And then that's when I added in the rest of that frozen mixture that I make from my food processor just for some added flavor in there. And then I let that sit for probably like two minutes and then that's when I added in my chicken broth. Had I had more chicken broth, I believe that this soup would have had a lot more flavor because I had to supplement some of the chicken broth with water. And then that's when I went in with some green onions just to give it some more flavor. Now this is gonna be a full veggie dish. You're about to see it's gonna be nothing but green. So I just added some green beans, some parsley in here, and I did some Italian parsley in here, and then I'm adding the water. Now I would have added more chicken broth had I had it. I wish I did but I would definitely add more chicken broth. If you have it, just do all chicken broth, no water. Then I wanted to turn the eye down some so now that the tomatoes could really savor its flavor into this dish and the tomatoes was such like a really great taste. Like everything balanced out for each other. Everything was a complement with each other. So then after that, I did have to add more, um, some seasoning to it, which was to just eat seasoning. Now. Of course you can add a seasoning to your liking, but I really feel like I didn't have to add that much seasoning because of if I had the chicken broth, it would've been fine. So I did add some garlic powder, I added some Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt, and then I did put some red peppers in there, which gave it a good little whisk of a, of a spice. Then I let that cover for 20 minutes and let that boil up for me, and then I just wanted to give a good whisk, and guys, the smell, the t oh, it was beautiful. It, it was so good. Then that's when I added the kale. I would have added more kale had I known it was gonna really have such a strong, great taste to the soup. Had I known that, I would have added more, but it's okay. Then I put some cilantro on top of that so the cilantro could have a more of a fresher taste before adding the lentils and the rice. So I wanna use some lentils now. The key is to not throw away all the lentil water because you do need some of that lentil water to help give some of the lentil flavor into this soup. And then I wanted to go in with a cup of brown rice. I would have added more rice too if I would have made more rice for my meal press, but it's okay. It's okay, now that I know what I did wrong, it is fine. But I wanna whisk all of this together and guys, this soup was amazing. It was great, I loved it. This soup was definitely just perfect for the cold weather. And oh my goodness, it was just so good. Okay, so we're gonna try this out and see how this tastes, guys. Okay. Hot. <laughs> it's hot, hot, hot. This is it right here. This is the soup. I do wish I had more, like, more rice in it, but we'll see how this tastes. Hold on. Mmm. It tastes so good. I like the kale with it, tastes really, really good. 
I think the rice balance, everything, I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to see what flavors like pop out the most to me. I taste the cilantro, the parsley, the kale, of course the celery, the red peppers, mm. And the lentils taste like, it's like a supplement of meat, like somewhat, a little bit. Give me a second, this tastes really good. Give me, give me a second. imagine how great this is gonna taste like the next day with all the veggies and the seasonings mixing together I love the red pepper flakes in here even though it was not part of the original recipe but I do love the red pepper flakes because it's it brings so much flavor like this dish is it's just so much flavor now if you want it you could add some shrimp in here chicken i could have cut up some chicken thighs and put it a part of it or you could add some, some kidney beans up in here you could really do a lot with this dish but i really wanted to see how it would taste without putting a spin onto it i just wanted to see what i could play with now moving forward i know what i can do with this dish because this right here is really really good like really really good guys like the kale oh. I would definitely add more kale into this. Like, it's so good. Mm. After me tasting it now, adding both chicken broth and water is not a bad thing. Like, I really feel like the chicken broth would still have added more flavor to it, but it's not like it's bad. You know what I'm saying? So it still worked with just half chicken broth and half water. So whichever may work for you, works for you. So guys, thank you so, so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for allowing for me to entertain you as well as educate you. I thank you for allowing for me to show you about my way around my kitchen and some of the foods that I eat, some of the things that I'm introducing my body to. I do want to change some of the foods that I eat this year, but that will be a little bit later on. It's not gonna be right away because I do wanna transition into vegan, but not just yet, but it will be something, one of my fitness goals for this year. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to give your girls a thumbs up or comment below. I pray I help someone along their wellness and fitness journey or their the meal prepping journey. I pray I did help you guys. I thank you so much for coming. And guys, see you in my next video. I'm about to bust a grub.